Why do you think that Chancellor Adenauer said a line must be drawn on the unforgettable chapter? Why? Well, he was, pro he was pragmatic. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had, um, he had a Germany that was destroyed after the war, of course. I mean, uh, the, the, there was hunger and, and there was, I mean, Germany was really on its knees after mm -hmm. the war and it had to be rebuilt. I don't know, himself was, uh, he, he had a clean history, he was not a Nazi. But his right-hand man, Globke, for example, was a terrible Nazi, and, and historians think that he's Globke, his right-hand man, was the reason that they wouldn't want, they didn't want Eichmann tried in Germany, where Fritz Bauer actually tried. Interesting. You no, know, because he would have implicated. Eichmann was uh, central in the whole bureaucracy mm -hmm. of Nazi Germany, mm -hmm. so he would have implicated everybody. And I don't know, I think was conscious that, that the administration had not really changed. You know, there was the second, uh, the, the, the Allies had done Nuremberg, there was 150 people, a couple of very, uh, prominent Nazi figures were removed from office, but basically, you know, the country, the, the administration moved on. And, for example, the BKA, who plays a part, that's like the German FBI, the head of the BKA was a Nazi. The head of the Supreme Justice Corps was a Nazi. So, it basically, he knew what he had to work with. And he voiced that sometimes. Sometimes he would come to me and say, well, I met him, or I, I heard a speech of him, and he was, he was pragmatic. By the way, a pragmatism that the Americans show it themselves, you know, the, the so, Americans. So you're, so you're saying the Allies knew that these people, oh. the equivalent, they were Nazis, they had an equivalent to the German FBI, was had a Nazi past. Oh yes, mm -hmm. they knew that. And the, uh, well, the Americans had, there was an interest, it was uh, talked to one historians, they, they, they had put in prison some of the industrialists who were essential to the war effort in Germany. And after the Korean War, they, they set them all free. Mm. And they basically, the attitude, I'm not a historian, but what I talked to historians about, they said, you know, the, the enemy is Russia, so we need a strong Germany. And mm -hmm. as many of you know, there was a plan, for example, make Germany an agrarian state. That was something they were real. They were pondering, what, what will we do with Germany? And then they realized we need a very strong Germany as kind of a wall against Russia. And, uh, and there are, I mean, there's a book, I think six months it came out, to show how um, American workers as S officials in spionage in Eastern and Western Germany. So this pragmatism, I think, was uh, prevalent at that time.